Good evening. We begin with a new I-Team investigation. It's against the law throughout the tri-state for a convicted sex offender to live within a thousand feet of a school. Then why is one out of every three sex offenders in Hamilton County living in a school zone? The I-Team found out and 9 News anchor Brendan Keefe has the first of a two-part investigation. There are three quarters of a million registered sex offenders in the United States. Every state tracks their addresses. All three states in our area go a step further with laws to keep convicted sex offenders from living within a thousand feet of a school. But we discovered in Ohio, police cannot arrest someone for breaking that law. There are 17 sex offenders registered within a thousand feet of this Cincinnati public school. Another 19 are living within the restricted zone around this elementary school. These aren't exceptions in Hamilton County, where a new study found one third of all sex offenders living in school zones. I'm shocked by those figures. Attorney General Mike DeWine has made catching sex offenders a priority for his office, which is also responsible for tracking the nearly 20,000 registered sex offenders in Ohio. Keeping sex offenders away from children. And one way we can do that is by saying they can, cannot be within a thousand feet of, of a school. So we know where they are. Unfortunately, that doesn't prevent anything. Sheriff A.J. Rodenberg is in charge of registering sex offenders in Claremont County. He calls the Ohio law restricting where they can live window dressing. What I would equate it to is with an alcoholic telling them they can't live within a thousand feet of a bar. Is that going to stop them from drinking? Probably not if they've got an addiction to alcohol. These people have an addiction to young children. One problem may be the law itself. In Ohio, it's civil, not criminal. The prosecutor sends a letter to the sex offender's home, warning them they're within a thousand feet of a school and threatening to take them to court, civil court, if they refuse to leave. You may notice I'm crossing the bridge over into Kentucky, where it is a crime for a sex offender to live within a thousand feet of a school. And instead of a strongly worded letter, sex offenders in Kentucky could end up in handcuffs. But not in Ohio. Even when the sex offender walks into the sheriff's office to register an illegal address. When someone comes in, even if they know that address is within a school zone, they can't do anything about it criminally. Well, they can certainly tell them not to live there. They can tell them the consequences of the law. They can tell them that the prosecuting attorney can kick them out. Um, but beyond that, no, the current law does not allow them to arrest that individual. There are also exemptions in the law allowing hundreds of sex offenders to live wherever they want. In the second part of our investigation, Monday at 6, we'll show you the bedroom view one of those exempted sex offenders has of a Cincinnati elementary school. And we'll hear what can be done to fix the law in Ohio from the elected officials who have the power to change it.